you know, I want to ask you a little bit about your dealings with, with San Francisco because there was this huge conspiracy theory. Um, God, I guess it was about a year ago because I remember it was about when we launched um, that, you know, Ed Lee, I mean, uh, Ron Conway put Ed Lee in office to then pave the way to like do all these favors for everyone in Ed Lee's portfolio. I mean, everyone in Ron yeah. Conway's portfolio, which as we know is like every single person in Silicon Valley. So that's a <laughs> lot of favors. I have not gotten yes. one yet. Um, but you guys were sort of the poster child in this conspiracy theory because um, there, you know, was some sort of like you know interceding about you know what was you know what was going on with Airbnb. Um, you know, wh like what do you say to that? Do you think you're getting unfair treatment because Ron Conway put Ed Lee in office? You know, I think that's pretty absurd. And what I would say to that is that I, first of all, I haven't spent a ton of, spent a ton of time with Ed Lee, and I don't think Ed Lee has done anything above and beyond what any of the 11 city supervisors have done. Well, maybe mm -hmm. he's done a little bit more because he's the mayor, but it's not like we've gotten one treatment from the mayor of San Francisco and a different treatment from all other supervisors. I made sure to get to know Ed Lee, but I also made sure in the spirit of cooperation and education, I met all 11 city supervisors. There's 11 city supervisors in San Francisco. I met every single one of them. And we met with like the city attorney and the tax collector and like all these different people. And I would go to their office and I would spend time for a couple hours telling them the story about the company, what we're doing, mm -hmm. have you heard of any complaints, how are things going, and it was honestly like, and you could be cynical to not believe it, but people were very enthusiastic and a lot of people had questions, they had concerns, but we told them the story mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, okay, and I told them like, we want you to want us here. And if you have problems, we want to know what those problems are. Mm -hmm. We want to figure out how to make this work for everyone. And we met with all the city supervisors and this treatment they've given us is the exact same treatment that like the mayor has been given. He's been really gracious. He came, he spoke to the company, but then so did David Chu on the president of the board of supervisors. Mm -hmm. So no, I think that's absurd. Like David and Ed have been both great partners, but like Ron and David aren't close and they basically treat us the same way. Mm -hmm. 